My name is Ethan Mudavanu. Uh, I'm a Zimbabwean national, um, but I'm also here representing uh, the U Internet Society's United Nations uh, Internet Governance Forum ambassador. Um, so that is my role. I'm their ambassador, but also apart from that, I am a tech public policy uh, advisor at Access Partnership. So that's me, and um, that's what I wanted to bring to the, to the discussion today. Well, my presentation was to bring a tech perspective to the discussion. I said this is my, spe uh, my area of specialty, uh, my field of knowledge, and um, it was an issue really of bringing something different that isn't being uh, discussed in these forums and in these platforms. Um, so usually when we're talking about unconstitutional government change, we're really thinking about the physical aspects of things, a coup d'etat even. Um, so my contribution was bringing a different definition, a different energy to what a coup d'etat even looks like like um, and for example we were look I was talking about cyber attacks or even f be it through foreign entities or non-foreign entities but we're seeing a rise in, in cyber attacks and we're seeing a decline from our governments when it comes to presence at a digital level so if the conversations are increasingly happening at a digital level that is what is public perception what is public interest what legitimizes a government those conversations are increasingly happening at social media and your social platforms we must be ever present in those spheres as well so that's what I wanted to highlight today and I uh, hope that message got across the the PAP is 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 a brilliant organization and in in the right space when it comes to issues of cyber security like I was saying issues of um, cyber crimes if um, given the relationships that they have and given the weight that they hold on the continent as the highest legislative body we have here on this continent, they have the influence when we're speaking about how only 29 of the 54 countries in Africa have a cybersecurity framework. Those are issues around the governance of the internet that has a major role, a major social economic role on the legitimacy of our governments. So if they can drive that conversations and make sure that if it's the Malibu Convention, um, how, can we, how can we encourage member states to ratify that? Right now, there's only 12 member states that have ratified it so far. What are the issues? Why isn't there an energy to do that? Um, so all of those questions are things that PAP can take forward from this, um, this, this conference and try to push and try to get answers to and try to resolve to ensure that going forward we're charting a way um, and we're charting a path that is entrenched in a cyber uh, secure space for Africa.